Hey shooters, out here on the range today. I'm gonna give you a couple of uh, diagnostic drills. The first one is called blind faith. And uh, it's not why I'm wearing dark glasses. I forgot to bring my shooting glasses, so these are my driving glasses. But either way, I've got a paper target 10 yards away. And your handgun of choice. So what I want you to do is, is charge the gun, set yourself up squarely to the target as if you were gonna to try to shoot a little tiny group using your eyes. Uh, face the target, good grip mechanics, aim at the middle of the target, close your eyes, and break three shots, four shots, five shots, whatever, whatever suits your fancy. And as you do this drill, you want to vary the cadence. You might want to shoot, you know, half second splits and then four tenths, three tenths, quarter second splits, whatever it is at a 10 yard target. I like the 10 yard target because it, it magnifies any errors, which is what I'm trying to do to diagnose myself and for you to try the drill to diagnose when you're having either a trigger control issue of some kind or a, uh, you have an errant shot due to not using good grip mechanics or maybe your recoil spring. You might want to change to balance out your upper body strength, your grip strength, your arm length, your load, and your recoil spring. So there's a lot of things you can do with this, uh, with this diagnostic drill to help you analyze the complete package from the most fundamental, the index finger, to uh, something a little more uh, um, outside you know, the, uh, the average, which would be you know, a one pound change in recoil spring or a, a two tenths of a grain of powder might make a difference in how well you shoot. I don't put in much for any of that, but some of you guys do, and you might find use in this drill in that vein. So anyways, I'll charge my little CZ up here by uh, Bull Shadow. I'm gonna take a nice uh, firm grip, aim with the middle of the target, and you'll have to trust me that I close my eyes. This is not a trick shot. I'd be only cheating myself, and you'll only be cheating yourself if you don't close your eyes. And we'll aim at the middle of the target, and we'll close our eyes, and we'll break. Okay. Now I can see already, I've healed, I've pushed the gun, I'm left-handed, and I tend to push a little bit with my left, right hand, my off hand, and I push those shots up and left. What I was expecting was a, like a cantaloupe sized group or better at, at 10 yards, somewhere, it doesn't have to be in the middle of the target. If your first shot goes where it goes, the rest of them should follow. Now, five shots can be a problem. You know, a couple shots at a time is probably a better idea because it allows you to, to, to analyze where they're going. Now, you know, you've got five senses, right? You've got uh, sight, uh, sound, uh, smell, uh, taste, and touch. So pretty much all the rest of them are occluded to some degree. You're hearing because you're closing your eyes. The only thing you've got left is, is touch or feel. So you should be feeling the gun and what it's doing in recoil and whether you think it's returning to where it started, which is the whole idea behind the drill. It does the gun go bang, return to where it was, and if it does, are you then manipulating the trigger properly to allow the bullet to go where, it's the, where the first one went or the successive ones go? So that's blind faith, 10 yard target. I'm gonna tape it up and do it again and see if I can improve my, uh, my abilities, which I always have to improve my abilities. If I'm not continually striving to get better, I'm gonna go backwards because all you guys are getting better. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Let me tape this thing up and we'll get right back to you. All right, I've taped the target up. This time I'll just shoot three shots. And then we'll do another three after that. But we'll do three and uh, do a little diagnostics or try to see what the target tells us. So again, 10 yards away, good firm grip, aim at the middle of the target, close your eyes and break. So I got no horizontal at all. I have a vertical dispersion. Uh, and I was trying to feel the shot. So if I had to guess, which the, the uh, tape will tell me, which one was the low shot. Got two together, up high, and one down low. So we'll do that again and see if we see a different pattern or similar pattern. Do I have three shots left? I believe I do. So again, middle of the target, close your eyes. Still a pretty good vertical dispersion and very little windage. So that's the drill. Uh, I have, obviously have some more work to do myself. So use this. I, again, I'm a, I'm a master class shooter. And I can't produce exactly what I want every single time. So this allows me to work on me. And if you can't self-diagnose through some tool, it's hard to find out where your problems are. You, not everyone has a coach. I've never had a coach. But if you don't have a coach or someone that's analyzing what you're doing, it's hard for you to fix an issue. You know you have the issue, but you don't know exactly what it is or what, how to isolate it to what particular element. This is one drill, blind faith, that'll help you do that. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Catch up with you later. Shooter Summit. Bye.